Hey everybody, I'm Roll Dragonette here, and in case you didn't know, I really enjoy cooking. So, today we are going to show you how to make spam masubi rolls. Let's get right into it. First, let's start with the ingredients list. You are going to need seaweed, spam light, soy sauce, sugar, well, not that much sugar, but a little bit, like, like that much. Perfect. Some fur cocky seasoning. This one is optional, but it does really improve the flavor. So if you can get your hands on it, I do recommend it. Finally, you're going to need some sticky rice and water. Now onto the supplies and utensils. You will need cooking spray, a masubi roll maker. Wait, yeah, I hear you saying very few people have a masubi maker. If this is your case, all you need to do is cut off the top and bottom of the spam container and use something like, say, a thing of barbecue sauce to press it down, and that will work just as well, probably. You will also need various measuring containers, a rice maker, a cutting board, a nonstick frying pan, and that's about it. You will also need a knife, and a spatula, and a rice spatula! Ah, spam. The most hated of the meats. Is it a meat? No one knows. Let's start by taking off the lid of the spam and then taking a moment to appreciate the noise that it makes when it comes out of its tin. Ah, doesn't that sound delicious? Time to cut the spam into either however thick you want your pieces of spam or however many masubis you want. Here I'm going to cut the Spam into 10 slices. After this, we're going to need to make the sauce that the Spam will marinate in while we cook it. This is a simple combination of an eighth a cup sugar and an eighth a cup soy sauce. Make sure you mix this well, especially before putting it over the cooking Spam. Onto the stove. We're going to start by putting our non-stick frying pan down and then loading it up with our Spam. During this time, the stovetop should be on medium temperature and once the bottom of the spam has browned, you will want to flip that all over and then pour over the sauce of so sugar and soy sauce. Once this is done, turn off the heat from the stove and prepare the next step in the masubi making experience. Now we're on to the actual building of the masubi roll. You're going to take five pieces of the sushi seaweed or half as many pieces as you will need for masubi roll. You're then going to cut these in half lengthwise. Take your masubi maker, or spam container slash sauce container, and spray it with non-stick spray. This is so the sticky rice does not stick to the container and instead sticks to the seaweed. Now take a piece of seaweed and lie the masubi maker on top of it. You're then going to put in a scoop of rice and then a splash of furikake seasoning on top of that. Then you'll put the piece of spam on top of that and another little hint of furikake. Now you're going to finish the filling off with one more scoop of sticky rice. Take the top of the masubi maker and press down, condensing the filling. Now you're going to take a pinch of the sticky rice and put it across the bottom here so it'll stay together when we wrap it all up. Now remove the rice maker and wrap the seaweed around the filling. And voila, you have a masubi roll. Just repeat the filling step, say, nine more times, and you are done with a plate of masubi rolls! Yay! Mmm, so yummy. Don't you want to eat all of that? I had five in one sitting. It was too many, but I don't regret it. Yay! So I hope you liked that video and masubi rolls, because they're really good, and spam deserves to have a chance, people. So I really hope you enjoyed this and your masubi rolls, and I hope you have a wonderful day. This is the Emerald Dragnet, signing off. Bye. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more